example, with this transfer function. All right, and now actually Daniel is gonna give you a short demo. Okay, so uh, my name is Daniel. Um, I know some of you guys from Section and some people might have seen that already. Um, so I'm a big fan of um, scientific visualization on the web, in the web browser. And um, recent um, advances in technology um, enable um, 3D rendering. So I'm talking about WebGL. It's like, um, by now it landed in all um, browsers and it's available on all um, devices, like phones and stuff as well. But um, yeah, so, I'm, so the use case is the following. So you go to a doctor and get an MRI scan or a CT scan, CAT scan, and um, you want to look at the data. And um, so far, um, you had to download specialized software to your computer and then install it and maybe compile some software to view the data. But we made a website called slicedrop.com. You go to it and um, it enables you to um, view the data in your web browser. Did you download the data? So if I have some data, um, yeah. So, so imagine I have a MRI scan, and that's actually my brain, which I pull in now. I pull it in the browser, then um, it will um, render like that. And as Joanna mentioned, um, we have um, different views of the data. There's the slice panels on the right side, um, which have the volume and cut it like, like this, like this, and um, like this. And um, I can make um, a view um, larger and can go through the, um, the slices and you can adjust some um, contrast and stuff and do this on the sagittal view which means from the side so looking if I cut my head like this you know you would look inside like that and um, also from front to back and um, yeah this again this runs in the web browser here um, in that's a 3d view where we have the three slices oriented so if I move this one, the red one, then you see how it like moves through the, through the brain. And um, now I can activate volume rendering with the panels here on the, on the side. And that's actually where the WebGL comes into the game um, because now we can, this one's on the GPU here on um, Joanna's computer. Um, and um, you, can, you can view the, the data set now in 3D. It needs to calculate something. So I can rotate it, I can look um, from the side and into my head. Um, I can perform some thresholding on the fly, which means basically, um, yeah, cut out some gray values, some intensity values. And um, yeah, so this is um, a volume visualization and this works with the data you get from the doctor, basically. You get the CD and then you can pull in the data into SliceDrop to view it. Um, uh, another example, so this was a volume, MRI volume. Another example would be this one, which is a, a mesh. Like Joanna mentioned, it, it, it's, um, it was calculated from an MRI volume. And that's, um, that's a yeah, geometric um, isosurface. And that's one, uh, one brain hemisphere. And there are some color values mapped, which are curvature values. And I can now, on this panel here on the left, also perform some thresholding on these. But the actual data representation, the either surface doesn't change. Um, so yeah, Slice Over has a couple of other features, like you can then share your data on Dropbox, get a link, and then share this link with a collaborator, and then sync cameras. So you can be on the phone and say, look at this, and then the, the other person sees exactly the view you have on the screen as well. Um, but I want to quickly show you one interesting data set. It's this one. It's from um, Boston Children's Hospital. And um, does anybody, so let's look at it. It's hard to see, I guess, but um, let's see if I just, does anybody have an idea wh what it is? No, it's me. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a baby's head, and it's like an, um, a fetal MRI. So um, we, we scanned a pregnant woman. And I think this was 28 weeks or so along. Um, yeah, but that's um, also scientific visualization. So um, Joanna also mentioned um, the electron microscopy data, the Connectome project. 
So I would like to show you another um, software we developed. It's called um, Dojo. And I have this version running here. So when you, um, in this pipeline, well, af after the data got acquired from the electron microscopy, the scientists want to um, identify each cell in the, in the, um, in the brain. So um, here, you see each cell is colored differently, but the coloring is not perfect, you know. And that, so the algorithms um, who color for, um, to, to set those colors, they, they run automatically, but they're not, um, they are, they're not fully accurate. So um, we need humans to fix the data. If I, um, here, here you see some cell boundary, right? And if we look back at the colors, the algorithm put different colors um, instead of um, one single color in here. So we need humans to fix that by using different tools. And here's a merge mode. You can click here and merge those colors to one. And then if we look at the grayscale image again, you see here's another boundary. And we want to split the cell here. So we go to split mode and then just draw one line. And then the algorithm finds a good, good split and we click and then we have two colors. And um, th this task is called proofreading of the, of the data, and that's um, mandatory for, uh, before the scientists can actually analyze all the connections. So they want to know like, which cell is connected to which cell, and that's how um, the data needs to be processed. Here's also a 3D rendering mode um, while this loads. Um, so this, data, uh, this application is also written using WebGL. The rendering is um, performed in the browser. There's some server side here to do some image processing. Um, which is the difference between um, SliceDrop, where SliceDrop had no server side. It was just um, pure JavaScript running in the client. So if I now, now I have this 3D view. So this is also um, a volume, right? I can go through the slices. And here you see the whole um, volume representation. And then you can like see single neurons. And yeah, you see them in, in 3D, which is helpful for users um, who proofread the data to see how the structure gets um, extended in 3D. Um, yeah, uh, if you're interested in um, these kind of things like WebGL development and um, scientific visualization on the web, um, the 3D view of Dojo and SliceDrop are both based on the same toolkit we, we wrote. It's called XDK. It's um, available at goxdk.com. It's um, pretty easy to use. It's all open source, so everything I showed is open source on GitHub. You, if you Google it, you will find the source code. Um, this toolkit um, lets you write only uh, yeah, six lines of code to um, render a mesh, like Joanna mentioned. So this, these six lines will give you something like that. Like a skull um, rendered from an easel surface. Um, so yeah, goxek.com, and it has quite a, a large community by now. Uh, people are using it. SliceDrop is, for example, used um, by about 100 people every day, especially here in the, in the Boston area and the hospitals. Researchers quickly want to visualize their data so they can pull it in the, in the web browser. All right, any questions? Good.